Good morning, yogis. This is Anna from Happy Head Yoga, and this is class four of seven for yoga for depression and anxiety. So first of all, if you've done the other th three classes, well done. You are doing great. Um, I hope you're finding them useful. Today, we're going to set a goal for ourselves. We're going to begin to learn um, a modified version of Sun Salutation A, which is this sort of greeting to the sun, the hello to the sun. Uh, I know full well that the mornings when you are depressed uh, can sometimes be the worst, particularly if you sort of were normally a morning person before. Um, so just beginning to introduce this to your day, even if you're not feeling at all like you're wanting to say hello to the sun of the day, begins to lead your body. And sometimes when we work with our body first and we give our mind a rest, the mind will follow afterwards. So um, I'm going to show you a full um, sun salutation. Uh, it's a modified version, so um, it should be fine for you if you're new to yoga. Uh, and then we'll get into breaking it down. Again, just do what you can. You just clicking on this video is more than enough. Uh, it is you showing up to do whatever you can today for your mental health. Okay, let's begin. So for the moment, just sit back and relax and watch the video so you get a full idea of the full sun salutation modified version. So we start at the beginning of our mat and we will sweep our arms up wide and overhead, exhaling, hinging at the hip, diving down, inhaling halfway up, flat back, plant your hands down so you can step back into a plank, take an inhale and then exhale, lower the knees, lower your chest to the ground. Push into your hands and you inhale up into up dog, arching your back. Exhale, drop onto your knees and then back up into downward facing dog where you lift your bottom up into the sky. Breathe here a while and then you mindfully step forward and fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold, pushing into the feet. Inhaling, coming all the way up and exhaling, draw your hands in front of your heart. Okay, so that's the full sun salutation that we're going to break down and work towards. When we set ourselves small goals, again, it begins to create an upward spiral in our, in our brain chemistry. So that's our goal for this, um, for this class. And in yoga philosophy, even if we don't reach our goals, we just gently observe any negative chitter chatter and go, well, at least I tried my best. I, I tried and there's always tomorrow and I can keep working on it. So if you notice that negative chitter chatter, you just gently observe you say, I see you, and but here, I'm trying, and that's enough for me today, and I, there's always tomorrow to try again. Okay, let's get to it. As with all yoga practices, we start by checking in with ourselves. So, come and make yourself comfortable in a nice seated position with your back straight, and just begin to notice your breath and settle down. And just recognizing how you feel today, at your beginning of your practice. And you take your hands in front of your heart in prayer and set a small intention of how you want to feel at the end. We'll come back at the visit that at the end. And then just gradually come on over into hands and knees, tuck yourself up, and we're just going to fold gently over, breathing deep. And on the inhale, just lengthening the backs of our hamstrings. On the exhale, folding a little deeper and imagining all of your worries flowing off the back of your shoulders onto the floor, giving them up. And then interlacing your fingers behind your back, lifting up your hands towards the ceiling, just getting a nice stretch. On an inhale, gently drop the hands to the ground. On an inhale, straightening your legs. On an exhale, bending your legs. Inhale, straighten. And on the next exhale, push into the feet, rise all the way up, sweeping the hands overhead and draw your hands in front of your heart. So we're gonna do half sun salutations now, learning half of the flow. So take your hands in prayer and then inhale them down and up and wide. Exhale, hinging at the hips, dive down. You need to bend your knees, do so. Inhale, come up onto the fingertips. Or if you need to touch your shins, no problem. And then exhale, slowly fold. Bend your knees a lot. Root into the ground as you inhale and rise up, sweeping your hands up to the side and overhead. And exhaling, drawing your hands in front of your heart. Great, we've done one. Let's do a few more. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up wide and up, gathering fresh energy. 
exhaling, diving down mindfully, just imagining we're letting go. Inhaling, coming up flat back, your hands draw up your legs. And then gently exhale, fold if you need to bend your knees a lot, no problem. Inhale, push into the feet, root down to rise up, get long in the body as your fingertips reach up. And then exhale, draw center down your body with your hands in prayer. Beautiful. So that's the half sun salutation. And now for the full sun salutation. So come to the top of your mat. Again, we'll break it down and then we'll piece it all together. Like we just did, take a nice prayer position. And then on an inhale, sweep up your arms to the side, up and wide. Exhale, hinging at the hips, dive down. Bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, come halfway up, hands drag up the legs. Exhale, place your feet, hands either side of your feet and step back into a plank. If you need to, drop the right knee and then the left knee. Take an inhale. On an exhale, come over your hands a little bit and come on down, all the way down to the ground. And just take a moment there, catch your breath if you need to. Slide your hands back a little bit. And on an inhale, draw the belly in and lift up the shoulders into a baby cobra position. Exhale down. We're going to do this a few times to warm up the back. Inhale, pushing into the hands, rounding the belt, arching the body, and then exhaling down. This time, shuffle the hands backward for a full up dog. Inhale, see if you can push into your hands and straighten your legs. If you can, your knees come off the ground. If you can't, no problem. And then draw back onto your hands and knees. Tuck the toes. Take a nice inhale. And on the exhale, push into the hands. Lift your bottom high, high, high into the sky. And keeping that lift in the bottom as much as you can, your heels gently yearn for the ground. Sometimes it feels nice as we warm up to pedal out the feet, bending one knee and then the other. And then come into stillness. Keep breathing, relax the face, relax the eyes. Let's do that again. So just come into tabletop position. We'll just break it down and then we'll piece it all together. Take a nice inhale and on the exhale, come over your hands a little bit. Tummy right in as you exhale, lower all the way down. Shuffle your hands back. Inhale, push into your arms, shine your heart forward, up dog. Exhale, draw back onto hands and knees and lift the bottom high into the sky as you push the front of the mat away. As your bottom is lifted, your heels yearn down. Let's breathe nice and deep. And then let's go back down to our knees. Repetition helps us get some muscle memory. So take a nice inhale. And on the exhale, come all the way down to the ground. Shuffle your hands back. On an inhale, push into the hands an awful lot. Tummy right in as you arch. Exhale, draw back onto the knees, tuck the toes, and then come up into downward facing dog. Really lifting that bottom high into the sky as you push the front of the mat away. Can high up into the tippy toes and then slowly, mindfully walk your hands in between your, ha in between your hands and then fold. Breathe deep, relax. Then inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold, push into the feet, root to rise, come on up to standing. Hands touch, exhale your hands in front of your heart in prayer. Brilliant, we're ready to stitch it together. Your first sun salutation, inhale, sweep hands all the way up. Exhale, hinging at the hip, dive down, belly in as you do so. Inhale, hands drag up the legs, flat back. Exhale, fold, step back into a plank. Right leg first, if you need to drop the knee, no problem. And then left leg for a low plank. Take an inhale and then exhale, come all the way down. Drop the legs, inhale, push into the toes, tummy in. Up you come into up dog, bottom towards your heels. Exhale, draw back onto hands and knees and then bottom lifts as you push the front of the mat away and lift your bottom into downward facing dog. Now breathe here for a while. And on an inhale, mindfully walk your feet forward in between your hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, push into your feet, sweep your hands all the way up, let them touch in prayer. 
and exhale, center yourself as you draw your hands in prayer. Let's keep going. Inhale up, you're doing great. Just do what you can. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back into plank. Again, if you need to, drop the knees. Take an inhale. Then exhale, lower all the way to the ground. Shuffle the hands back. Inhale, sweep through, up dog. And then exhale, draw onto the knees. Lift the bottom, downward facing dog. Let's take a moment for yourself here in some peace. Any negative chitter chatter, you just notice. Okay. I'm just focusing on lifting my bottom right now and letting my heels yearn for the ground and doing what I can. And then on inhale, come high up into the tippy toes, walk your feet mindfully forward, and then exhale, fold. Inhale, push into the feet, root to rise up as you sweep your arms overhead, touch them in prayer, and exhale down in front of your heart. Last time, inhale up, tummy in as you exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back as the arms go up to the legs. Exhale, place your hands by your feet. Step back into a plank. Again, if you need to, drop the knees. Inhale, and then exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, push into the arms, come all the way into up dog. And then exhale back onto the knees and draw back into downward facing dog. Take three big breaths here. And then just gently come on down to your knees, make your knees nice and wide, your big toes touch. And exhale, draw back into a child's pose. If you need to calm down, you can just fold passively with your cheek on one side. If you're feeling anxious, you can focus on stretching your hands out, your fingertips as far away from you as possible as you draw your bottom down towards your heels. And then just come on round, give yourself a nice big hug, well done. Even if you've learnt a little bit, that's still more than you knew before, so well done for that. Do give yourself a big pat on the back. Take your legs out wide a little bit and just fold passively. Letting go of all of that busy activity, that flow. Fantastic. And then we're just coming down to the most important pose, which is the relaxation pose at the end, the Shavasana. And just as we've greeted the sun, we're going to greet the sun to shine through our bodies. So it's a guided visualization. So just get comfortable, wiggle around if you need to put on a jumper, do so. And then I'd like you to imagine the sun rising from the horizon. And really visualize that white, bright sun its healing energy, its playful spirit, the sunbeams dancing around. Now imagine that sun is rising up right by your feet and it is absorbed by your feet. So that white, bright, brilliant light, the sunbeams, that playfulness, is absorbing into your feet and scanning your body from your feet all the way up to your legs to those areas of tightness any areas where the energy is stuck. Often our anxiety and our emotions get stuck in our hips and our belly. So imagining that sunlight moving into your hips, dancing and playing, gathering that stiff energy, taking it with you into your stomach, feeling your chest full of that sun burning bright, that playfulness, the sun spirit, Imagine now you're holding two suns in your palms of your hand, warm and energizing. Let that sun come back and feel your face. And imagine that white bright light coming out of the crown of your head, expelling any of that stiff energy, that blocked emotion out of your body, and then washing you over with a bright, clear, glowing light that surrounds you and protects you all day. And feeling that energy, give yourself a nice big stretch like you're just welcoming the sunshine in. And then exhaling over onto the right hand side like a little ball. And let's just hang out here. And just give yourself some thanks. Even if the flow didn't go quite as you'd hoped, you can always do it again. Practice makes perfect. 
So just give yourself thanks for doing what you could do today. And then gently come on up, come into sitting. And just quietly observe how you feel now having moved your body. Even if there's been a tiny shift. Just notice what the yoga practice has done for you. And decide what you want to take forward to the rest of your day. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, draw your hands in your heart. Lock that intention in. Thank you for your practice. Namaste. Um, this yoga series means a lot to me, so I'd really welcome your comments on how I can make things better. So please do like and let me know uh, what you need. Namaste.